Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Worms February 2020 series here at part number two of the action from the 20th of February between Deathwish 808 and a load of crap. In part one, we saw a load of crap bringing it back to Deathwish. He was able to cut the lead by three points, 28 to Deathwish, 18 to a load of crap. But with more games to play in this series, it's anybody's guess as to how we're going to end up at the end of February. The action in the arena is about to kick off once again, so let's take our seats and prepare ourselves as these two titans go battle once more. We have ourselves yet another pond here for match number four of the evening from Deathwish828 and a load of crap. Uh, three out of four ponds so far in this uh, series and a load of crap is going to get us underway here on the right hand side of the map with his worms. Looking at the... Um, sort of what's about it seems that the most of the action is probably going to come from this left hand side there is plenty of barrels and mines over there and um you have to say uh death wish with the two worms on the left hand side reasonably safe um so let's see how this one plans out i think a load of crap is going to have his work cut out from here going for the grenade here next to the barrel to inflict that extra damage let's see what happens right next to it it was only 74 but the extra fire damage i don't think it's going to be enough for 100 but uh, leaving that worm on 14 is a good start for a load of crap that worm now gets his retaliation on the uh, subsequent turn, Deathwish here selecting out to the bazooka. I think he's going to just try and knock this worm into the drink. Let's see what happens. Perfectly positioned, but the worm just gets lofted into the air. Fire rains down, though, on the worm down below. Deathwish's worm goes into the drink, and that is <laughs> a lot of action happening there. Let's take another look at that one on an action replay. The bazooka shot initially was good from Deathwish, but sends the worm right up into the air. Look what happens, though. The fire rains down, and a load of crap's worm does a fire damage into a mine that triggers the mine. There's also another bit of fire that rains down right on that barrel next to Deathwish 808, sending him into the drink. Deathwish is down a worm, three worms damaged overall. A good shot in terms of damage, but Deathwish is not going to be happy with that one. Back with the live action here and over to a load of crap here with the lower right worm. Just when you think you know what is going to happen in a turn in this game, the uh, the game throws a massive curveball at you and you just don't know where it's going to go. The beauty of worms indeed. Anyway, um, I think we're going to see a right to left shot here from a load of crap, potentially with a grenade and possibly a bazooka. Actually, he's got one wind. Depends. I would be more inclined to go for a grenade toss to try and uh, just get it in that little pit of Deathwish's um, like right side worm on the left there. He's going up high. He's going to catch the ceiling. That's going to go in the drink. Bit of a wasted turn there from a load of crap. But um, it's going to allow Deathwish here potentially to fire a bazooka shot straight up in the air in the hope that the other worm can get uh, thrown into the drink we will see what happens here got to be careful though of that mine on the left hand side can't hasn't got too much room to maneuver and plus if he um hits that worm directly above him he's got to be wary that there are two mines in between that worm of a load of craps and his worm which could also have ramifications for death wish over halfway through the turn now um, we are with the bazooka. I think he is going to go and just shoot one straight up in the air here. Let's wait and see how the turn pans out, though. So I think we could see, potentially, if he goes for this, some unexpected uh, aftermath. Less than 10 on the clock here. Deathwish really needs to pick it up. He shoots. And he actually gets away with it. Whilst a load of craps worm doesn't end up in the drink, the mines are relatively stable. And the mine didn't even go close enough to a load of crap to sort of trigger uh, if that might have been triggered sitting there, that would have triggered a, a, a cascade of effects. But um, I think uh, both worms there, both players, got off relatively lightly. Uh, a load of crap going straight down here. I'm not sure that that's going to be a good play, though, unfortunately. Uh, you've got to be very careful of those pixels aiming straight down like that. You are looking at a, uh, a rocket jump, if anything. Uh, but it is grenaded, actually. And that's going to throw Deathwish Worm into the mine next to the explosive barrel and into the drink. What a shot from a load of crap. We are four on two in a load of crap's favor here. And Deathwish has it all to do if he wants to come out on top of this one. Just a little dink, though, that time around. And there we go. As we predicted before and I thought might happen, those mines really come into play. He knocks a load of crap's worm into the drink, but the, the blast radius of that bazooka knocks the mine back onto him. Um, 
And Deathwish gets flung across. Very lucky there not to end up in the pond. Ends up with a bit of fire damage as well. But um, 74 and he is still on that left side of the map. The fire has gone out around him so he has that safety at least. Although a load of crap with the three wind here and the bazooka shot. You can only think this is going to be if he uh, a direct shot. This is going to reduce him. And um, well he came up short. Did inflict a bit of splatter damage there to Deathwish's worm to bring him down to 70. But um, that worm has got at least two shots in him, unless a load of crap can make him slide down into the water. Deathwish now with the worm on the right-hand side here, for only 14 health. Could potentially just go for a lofted grenade up to the top here, maybe. Or he could just take the risk and um, throw a bazooka up there and try and get some sort of uh, impact damage to throw a load of crap's worm into the water. I, I think he's going to go up the top, though, just trying to minimize damage against him. He does get a bit of damage... Um, against load of crap's worm reduces health by half to a four there but um you've got to say that that worm of death wish his uh his turns are numbered being only on 14 health it's uh, a load of crap's four worm here now next to play what is he going to do is he going to go for a cross the map shot or is he going to try and take care of death wish's 14 worm only time will tell here he looks like he's going to go for a cross map grenade He's put four seconds on the timer so far. Angles it up. Throws it across. It's going to go short. Um, wow. I did not expect that at all. It just lands so nicely on that ledge. I thought for sure it was going to roll off into the water. But no, it sticks. And a load of crap has pretty much reduced Deathwish's worm's health by half. And he is left within one direct hit now, that worm, of being totally wiped out. You've got to say the favor is currently with a load of crap. Um... But anything could happen. Deathwish there hits pixels. That is very uncharacteristic from Deathwish 808. Only inflicts seven damage. Could have been a lot worse though. Um, I certainly didn't see the pixels. Probably because the, the scenery behind him is so dark. It can be really hard to see individual pixels. And uh, I myself have come a cropper of that many times before. But uh, he lives to fight another day. For now, he's on 29 health. But any sort of um, grenade shot across could loop back. Um, behind Deathwish 808 there to the left there is quite a nice little loop back section going on there with enough velocity I think a load of crap there would much rather try and get a grenade shot just nestled nicely behind him unfortunately for a load of crap there the bounce takes a grenade into the water it was looking really really good too much speed though on the grenade delivery and um, maybe a two second timer with that speed would have um, been enough to uh, deal the damage there goes a load of crap's worm we are two on two now a load of crap though still in favor 166 plays 42 in the health stakes here so um what can Deathwish do to lower this deficit and uh, potentially win the game he's gonna be a load of craps high worm now it is indeed here on the left on the right hand side sorry um the wind is with him so i think we're probably going to see a uh, bazooka shot here just gotta be careful the wind will slightly push it down so you want to aim higher than you normally would with this shot um but anything remotely direct will take out this worm only being on 29 damage. Let's wait and see how he lines up the shot halfway through the shot so far. He actually is lowering. No, I was going to say, he wants to put it a little bit higher than he normally would here. The wind is going to push it down. He goes short. And um, yeah, I, I th really think he should have gone higher with that shot. Like I say, it is only one wind. It's not going to affect it too much, but it is going to push the shot down when it is going against you. Deathwish now on the retaliation. Lovely arced cross map bazooka shot. He's made a bit of a water pit there for that worm. And um, you've got to think though, looking at what's going to happen here. A Deathwish's next turn could potentially see the end of the 46 worm. I think he, it's, the, the, the wall between those two worms is thin enough to allow enough impact damage to push a load of crap's worm into the drink. We'll have to see how Deathwish plays that one out next time around. But can a load of crap here take it down to a two on one situation? with a cross map shot he has the wind so he doesn't have to worry too much about um the pace here it's all about the angle i think it's gonna be too straight it is but he goes for the bounce off the water and unfortunately he is three hit points too short um we've seen that before in in this uh, series the the two players Deathwish and a load of crap both going for these fancy rocket shots it's quite amazing to see those but um and as i predicted deathwish 808 hits into the wall 
Um, he takes 12 damage himself, but I'm sure he's not going to mind. The worm is still alive and knocks a load of crap's worm into the drink. We are two on one in favor of Death Wish 808, although a load of crap does have the advantage in terms of health. Um, positional wise, though, you've got to think that a load of crap, a load of crap's worm, uh, if it comes down to these two on the right hand side, which let's face it, it probably is going to come this way. Um, it's not going to be a very quick competition because they are not in easel. E they're not easily visible to each other. He tries to drop a grenade down there. It's not going to work, though, unfortunately. And um, interestingly, a load of crap didn't think to move his worm back further to the right-hand side of the map for a bit of safety. He is precariously on the edge here, and um, any sort of bazooka or rocket shot here could easily knock a load of crap's worm into the drink and give Deathwish the big W here. In match number four, let's see what he's going to do, though. We've got a bazooka out. Sorry, no, it's a grenade. That's what I was talking about. He didn't put his worm far enough behind. Luckily for a load of crap, the worm goes left instead of right, right instead of left, sorry. And he is um, a little bit safer there on that top edge. But um, you've got to think, if uh, Deathwish can keep chipping away at that ledge that a load of crap is stood on, it's not going to end well for a load of crap. He now takes the decision to move the worm back. I think we're going to see a grenade shot across. Um, yep, he's sitting three seconds on the timer. Not really sure what he was going for, whether he was trying to roll it back up the hill. I'd certainly not seen a shot there where it goes into the water and rolls back up before. That was an interesting choice, but... Um, he obviously doesn't see the worm on the left as much of a threat as the worm on the right, and he's trying to take that worm out. Um, we are well away here from sudden death. I don't think we're going to see a sudden death scenario, but there might just be enough wind here to push the grenade, uh, the rocket shot here, in towards a load of crap. Let's see what happens. Deathwish actually shoots, switches out to a grenade. See what he was going for there? He was trying to go for a bounce off the top of the thing and into that little alcove with a short enough timer as the grenade was dropping down he was hoping that it would explode when it was pretty much parallel to a load of crap there but um, unfortunately the timer wasn't quite um, long enough for Deathwish there the wind is with a load of crap if he wants to go for the cross map bazooka shot don't think he is going to go for it though he's going to try it. he's still trying to attack this worm on the right hand side I'm not sure it would have been my choice. I think I would have much preferred to have brought it down to a one-on-one -on -one situation. But um, there it is. The grenade was close enough. That is splatter damage. However, a load of crap did not move his worm back towards the right. And he is in a very, very dangerous position. You can see he is literally on the edge there of those pixels. And Deathwish now has the, wor the, the worm with him. He has the wind with this worm. And this could be Sayonara for a load of crap. It's going to be a bit of plinko, though, if the worm falls down. Let's see what happens. The shot is looking good. He is down. He is in the drink. And that is game. Deathwish takes the game. Wow. With one worm remaining, um, you got to say a load of crap was looking good in that one. But um, as is with worms, the, time turned, the tide turned and Deathwish managed to pull it back. The level is set and we are back here for match number five of the evening between Deathwish and a load of crap commentary, as always, from myself, Knock. And it is Deathwish to get us underway. And then we haven't got the pond map this time. So let's see what um, what's going to happen here. Um, these maps tend to be a bit more drawn out than the pond environment. But it isn't, it isn't unheard of to have quick maps. Um, the worms are scattered around. The hazards are scattered around too. So let's see what is going to happen here. A three second grenade straight down into the pit. And... Um, that's a 28 damage. The mine, though, he's flung up to the mine as well. The fire damage is going to cause even more damage. What an opening shot there from Deathwish 808, reducing that worm by over three quarters of its health. Time for a load of crap now. He has the wind with him. Um... What will he do, though? He, I don't think he's going to attack the worm on the left. You, you never know. He could just be trying to bring him down. He has moved his worm away, though. But it looks like he's positioned himself for a shot towards the right-hand side of the map here. Pulls out a grenade. He's just maybe going to go a classic up and over. It's a little bit down near. So what he's going to try and do is invoke this mine towards Deathwish's worm. Let's see what happens. Though. The mine could end up anywhere, as it does. It's flung up in the air. Uh, Deathwish takes a bit of fire dance damage, but um, 
Yeah, the, the mine, you put a grenade that close to a mine, it's going to make it completely unpredictable. But 40 damage on Deathwish's Worm is going to be a pretty good start to um, a load of craps campaign here in match number five. Deathwish here ascending the bottle to the right. Uh, although he doesn't seem to appear to know where he wants to be. He jumps back to the left. And uh, I think we're just going to see a shot near the mine here. Um, if Deathwish can potentially get a grenade between there and there. I didn't see actually pay attention to that uh, worm below. He's going to dislodge the mine towards a load of crap. It's teetering. I don't think it's been triggered yet though. It's not been triggered. Deathwish is going to be relatively unhappy with that. Although the mine is still down there with a load of crap's worm. That worm of a load of crap has no avenue for escape. There is also another mine just at the top of that bottle look. Uh, to the left of that big pit that a load of crap has just landed in. So that may come into play a little bit later. A load of crap now with the worm on top of the brawly here. Um, thought he was going to look at Deathwish's right worm there to move it towards the mine. He changed his mind, aims towards the left and uh, onto the explosive barrel there. And catastrophically for a load of crap, he dislodged that mine on himself. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's 23 damage, 26 to Deathwish. Um, initially a good shot. I think he was trying to get the extra damage from the explosion barrel there, but it like that mine that we was talking about got dislodged at the same time into his mind triggering it uh deathwish there though on the shot that's going to take care of a load of craps worm that the hit itself killed it then the mine overkilled it and then he fell in the water for good measure that was a, a a good damaging shot but yeah the the mine on top of that bottle going back to a load of craps previous shot was always gonna in in a precarious position to get dropped down into that pit as we had alluded to before deathwish uh before he took that shot sorry so um yeah it kind of backfired Massively there for a load of crap. He's put himself in an awkward position here, though. He's dropped himself down. I don't think he's going to get back up that ledge. And he is right next to yet another mine. Um, very interesting positioning of worms here from a load of crap. Is he going to get through? He does indeed. I don't think it was direct, but there we're going to see extra fire damage. Is it going to be enough to take care of this worm? He drops down into the pit. It's 61, and that worm survives with 13 health. I think here what we're going to see is this worm going down, 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 down as Deathwish lines up the bazooka shot, probably into the mine. He could potentially attack the worm below it as well. Let's see what happens. No, but the worm is flung into the fire dance and he was quite restrictive where he could go left and right, which was a benefit for Deathwish 808 because I mean, the worm just stayed on that bed, at that little area of fire, continually taking damage and the worm is, loses 66 health in that turn down to 44 in health stakes, Deathwish is miles ahead of a load of crap, but Deathwish is yet to lose another worm. He's going to leave uh, a grenade right next to the worm here, I think, is what a load of crap's going to play for. No, he changed his mind. He's going to go for the high worm. Grenade up and over the top, round to the back to try and fling the worm over to the right, I think we're going to see. He does indeed. Not as close to the worm as he would have liked, though. Let's see where the damage takes it. Into the top of there. Not really the positioning. I don't think a load of crap would have wanted that worm to go into. 69 damage that worm's left on. And um, it's Deathwish now with the worm below. Let's see what he can do. I think a grenade shot into this one nearest, into the pit on the worm nearest to the right here is probably going to be the play. Uh, try and invoke that mine into the action. Uh, I don't think he'll go for the 44 worm for the given fact that his worm is too close. But um, so it looks like that's what he's going to do. The grenade is up in the air. It's five seconds. It comes down and, well, it's landed next to his worm. That's going to kill that worm off. And I think it's fair to say uh, even if of Crap's worm is not dead, this explosion possibly will kill it. Yep, death by death animation there for a load of craps worm. We are three on two in Deathwish 808's favour. Like I said, I don't think that's the worm he was going for. But nonetheless, he has reduced a load of craps down to a, uh, a worm countdown by another worm. Sorry, I'm getting all flustered here and can't get my words out. So as we alluded to before, I don't think a load of craps... Oh, he is. I was very surprised. Didn't think he'd be able to get out of there. So it gives him a little bit more of an option here, but... You have to say, Deathwish has two worms surrounded by his other surviving worm here. And it's going to be very hard to enforce any sort of damage here without taking damage himself. Let's see what he can do here. The bazooka is out. We are halfway through the turn. The shot is up. It rainbows across. And that was a pretty good shot. Not to take any damage on his own worm. He came in short and um, hits Deathwish underneath. And his worm manages to evade all damage. However, I don't think that's going to be... The same can be said for this worm coming up here, though, unfortunately. 
you have to think that um, Death Wish is going to, yep, just throw a grenade up in the air, get it to land to the left here of a load of craps worm. Is his two worms going to be affected though? Let's see. They are. They're both pushed down into that pit. So what that means is he has two worms very close together and they are going to potentially suffer damage both at the same time. The tables could be about to turn here on Deathwish 808. He still has a worm on maximum health sitting pretty on the right, but a load of crap here could get damage on both of these worms. And if he kills one, the death animation could kill the other. Let's see how this is going to play out. Grenade shot obviously down. It's just to the right. That's going to be a good shot. It's going to take a good chunk of damage. Now, I think the worm is going to die. The worm is dead. The death animation is going to kill off the other worm. We are two on one now in favor of a load of crap. We didn't think, I didn't think we would see this. A load of crap there with a great play. And you've got to say that it was initially Death Wish's grenade shot that really sort of messed everything up there. Um, so... Yeah, let's see how this one plays out now. I think we're going to come down to a one-on-one. -on -one. If he can land a grenade in that little alcove of where a load of crap's 43 worm is, that is going to be the end of that worm. But um, he doesn't. He rainbows it over the top. He's going to be safe for the next turn. I don't think a load of crap's going to be able to do much with this 54 worm for the time being. Um, interesting, though, as we saw in the previous match, I think that wall is probably thin enough to cause enough sort of damage um to a load of crap i was going to say to sort of push him into that mine a load of crap wary of that though and he is going across map here to try and get a better shot i didn't think he would be able to make it across that mine so fair play to a load of crap there for doing that but a load of crap now has a direct shot or, or an open angled shot at least at this worm of death wish what's he going to do though is he going to try and get a grenade in there with a low timer to inflict some damage or is he going to try and he's going to try and excavate some um areas above and try and make a bit of a, a better angle into there for following shots sorry i had to think about what to say there um so interestingly let's see though what death wish can do here his defenses are being slowly eaten away here rainbows the shot across and the worm is in the drink we are one-on-one -on -one. good shot from death wish 808 there i thought he'd gone low and i thought a load of craps worm was gonna get away with it i really thought though he was probably trying to get a grenade into that little alcove that, that worm was sat in it wasn't to be but death wish has brought it down to one-on-one -on -one and we are getting down to some nail biting stuff here the big question here is can a load of crap inflict damage or does he still need to chip away more he has switched out to the grain which is what i thought he would do initially if he can lower this worm, we've got the potential for extra mine damage on Deathwish's worm on the right-hand side here. But let's see how this plays out. Halfway through the turn. I think we're still running on a two-second fuse on this grenade. We are. It's up. It moves the mine, but not far enough to Deathwish's worm. It's fully opened up that area, though, but... That also gives Deathwish an advantage. He has got four win with him. Can he take it here? Can he finish it off? It's a good shot. A load of crap's worm, unfortunately, doesn't fall in the drink for Deathwish. He's reduced to six health, and this is do or die now for a load of crap. You've got to think Deathwish has a 94 health advantage here, but if a load of crap can get a shot which will dislodge Deathwish's worm down, there are two mines sat there waiting for his worm, which will potentially end that worm's career um let's see what he can do he has four with him so he could go for a bazooka shot rather than trying to do anything with the grenade the bazooka is going to be the preferential shot here it's going to be a lot of an e a much easier shot it does go across it hits the pixels though unfortunately for a load of crap and you've got to think now he is a sitting duck for this next shot of death wish 808 the only saving grace here is that he has got three wind against his shot here on the bazooka but it's not really going to affect him too much there is the shot it hits death wish takes game number five to take tonight's match total to three versus two any advantage that a load of crap had made in the earlier games has surely been defeated here and it's all now left to do for a load of crap to pull it back so it all boils down to this. It is time for match number six from February 20th between Deathwish 808 and a load of crap. And you have to say that uh, despite the promising signs early on, Deathwish now has the upper upper hand in terms of the league table. And uh, 
If a load of crap doesn't want the deficit to be any bigger than it was when we started out tonight, he really needs to win this one, and it would be good as well if he could win it with more than one worm. Anyway, we are not in a pond, so we could see a probably a long, drawn-out strategic battle as Deathwish opens up the action here with a grenade toss directly onto that worm of a load of crap. Good opening shot. Direct hit, 45 damage straight away. But, um, yeah, going back to what I was saying... We really thought that a load of crap was going to be eating into Deathwish's lead a little bit. Uh, but uh, Deathwish certainly has turned the tide. And you have to say a little bit of unluckiness from uh, for a load of crap. He he had that really good um, worm bonus only for Deathwish to get it straight back in the next match. Which kind of negated all his advantage. So it'll be interesting to see what we can do here and what the outcome will be. I'm really rooting for a load of crap here to be able to... Pull something out the bag and um, come away with this either the same or less of a deficit. He really needs uh, less than 10 points going into the final sort of week of the February series here. But let's see what happens. He's got the worm down here over halfway through. Just blast the rocket straight up in an attempt to try and um, open things up there. But it uh, doesn't really help him other than open up more of an area but that worm is always in a bit of a precarious position there to be able to do anything with back with Deathwish here on the high center worm here probably a shot for the uh, worm of a load of craps there on the right hand side let's see what he's going to be able to do here fires it across it's down there another direct shot on the worm let's see what the damage is going to be here though the explosion as well from the barrel. 45 though, only from the direct shot. A load of craps worm manages to survive any further damage. But uh, two shots from Deathwish. Two perfect shots, you have to say. And a load of crap is down. 90 health overall. A load of crap now with this lower right worm. Let's see what he can do from here. This worm at least has more options, but... Once again, he is—he he seems to get such unlucky place worms. They're always in areas which are sort of sheltered or boxed in. And it doesn't really allow him to be able to do much um, in terms of early shots without doing a lot of sort of um, movement of geometry. That is a big, big explosion. As he hits the explosion, barrels above him causes damage to Deathwish's worm, damage to his own worm, brings Deathwish's worm right next to him as well. Big position changes there, but um, I know he had to sacrifice some health there, but I'm sure he'll be happy with what's happened overall. Deathwish now with the action on the left-hand side of the map here. Again, though, I think three out of four of a load of crap's worms off the initial outset here were boxed in and not a really a lot he could do about that. The worm with another grenade shot. This time it's not a direct shot, but you have to say, with the exception of that one worm on the left -hand, uh, right-hand side sorry, for a load of crap here, all his worms have got no room for movement. Deathwish, you have to say, the three worms that are up top, even that one down at the bottom, all have scope for movement. Um, a load of crap, very restricted here as he pulls out the bazooka with this worm on top left here. I think we're going to see one straight down to the worm, directly down to his lower right. Let's see what he does. He angles the shot. He lines it up. Shoots it, and that worm goes really high and actually gets lodged on the uh, the wall underneath the worm that took the shot initially. So um, that's going to be a little bit unfortunate for a load of crap in that it puts that worm relatively safe. A load of crap might still be able to drop a grenade though down there, so it's not all doom and gloom here for the um, the man that trails behind in the championship. Deathwish here with the worm on the lower left here. What's he going to be able to do? He's thinking about it. We're down to 20 on the shot clock. Over halfway through the turn. Switching out to a grenade. Last in here. 10 left on the clock. Really needs to pick up the pace of this shot. It's lofted across. It rolls down. It's going to be in the alcove. Slight splatter damage there. To a load of craps worm, but overall, um, you have to say that um, not too much damage, and um, sort of isolating load of craps worm though even more, which is very very interesting to play from Deathwish 808. Speaking of which, that worm is actually up next, so let's see what a load of crap can really do. I think 
we're possibly going to see some sort of like terraforming here to try and get himself out on this right hand side he really has no options at all with this worm but then which worms does he have options with other than the one that is right next to death which is on the right hand side of the map here he's really really unlucky like with his positioning so yeah like as i thought he's going to try and um, dig his way out there to the right um luckily by the time that worm okay it goes out i was just about to say luckily by the time that worm comes around to have another go that fire will have gone out it has gone out above he has to be very wary though there is a little alcove right above him where a grenade could drop down and take damage he has to be very aware of that we'll keep an eye on that situation Sit situation situation as the uh, match develops here um death wish though um with the grenade i don't think the grenade is going to be quite far enough it might be it is it's 42 damage and we see our first fatality of the game a load of crap though now left with three worms that he cannot move and over around as we've been saying death wish um must be sit sitting there licking his lips at the sight of this but um, what can a load of crap do in this situation? I think with this worm, again, he's going to have to just tunnel out to the wall to the right. He's, he's actually going high, which is interesting. He's opened up the gap. So while he's opened up the gap to potentially get a shot out of there, he's also leaving himself quite vulnerable to opening up that gap and things coming in. So a couple of interesting developments here for a load of crap. We need to keep our eye on throughout the remainder of this match. I think we're here though we might see a an attempt at the top left worm here from Deathwish eight oh eight. Let's see. One second on the grenade. He may inflict a bit of damage on himself, but um I don't think he's gonna be too wary of that. And that is disastrous. Luckily, the timer on the mine was enough for Deathwishes to slide down, but that doesn't make a difference. Deathwish's worm is dead and we are three on three. Wasn't expecting that to happen. I was just about to say Luckily, Deathwish's mine slid off the brolly in time before the mine went off, causing him ex any extra damage. But the initial impact was more than enough to uh, say, Sayonara, Mr. Worm, you are out of here. Three on three situation here then. The top left worm of a load of crabs, I think... I don't know. My gut feeling would be... It looks like there would be an angle to attack that central worm of death wish i don't think he's going to go for it though he's dropping a grenade down nice shot direct grenade shot that is going to be the full 45 damage so um i take back what i was saying before but i do think there is enough of an open alcove there for death wish uh, sorry a load of crap to attack that central worm of death wish 808 so i was quite surprised that he didn't go for that um this worm, however, for Deathwish, this is probably the only worm that doesn't have a, an easy shot. He can knock a load of crap's worm down into the pit, which he does. And he opens up a little alcove now, so a load of crap. Got to be wary of anything coming from that left-hand side with Deathwish808, who is sat in a uh, in quite an interestingly shaped um, area there. That's all we'll say. Could this go to backfire, though, on a Deathwish 808? It's a load of crap's turn now, and the, the worm who uh, just got this access opened up to him, it's his turn next. Can this worm do anything here to attack the worm on the left? I think he might try, try and put a grenade in this little hole here and run back down. No, he is going for the attack. He's going for the full-on attack. Can he then thread the eye of the needle and get that grenade through that tiniest of margins? Let's see. It's good, it's through, but it rolled too much because of the sheer speed of the grenade, was the, which the grenade was traveling. Three damage on the worm, but uh, damage is damage. But he is in a very awkward position now. Deathwish can return the favor on the following turn with that, when that worm gets to go next, which he is going to do, you would assume, before um, a load of crap gets to take a turn, unless a load of crap loses a worm um, in the meantime. I think we're going to see a nice little grenade shot through this gap. We do. It comes up short, though. And that's going to just get rid of some uh, of the in-between scenery here. But, yeah, Deathwish didn't really have much other choice there. He had to go and try to grenade it in. There's no real, no real need to try any fancy bazooka shots. And they just really wouldn't pay off here. So, a load of crap here. He was working away at this top area before. Don't think he's got enough to backflip up here, although I've said that before and he's done it. I think he's realised that. He does have the bazooka out. 
So what is he going to try and do? Try and maybe take out this debris at the top here and dislodge this mine. It's not looking like he's lining up for a shot that will impact death wishes in any way. So he dislodges the mine and he opens up a big area there for attack. Um, the one thing he's got to be careful of, as he's just proved out there, is that he cannot move any further higher on that left-hand side. So he is in a very precarious position indeed. Um, leaving himself very exposed from attacks from that lower right worm of Deathwish 808. We go over to Deathwish's high center worm here. I think we're going to just see a bazooka shot straight across, just trying to chip away again at that alcove. We do indeed, and it brings a load of craps worm all the way down. He is teetering on the tiniest of pixels there on top of that brolly. But um, on the flip side for a load of crap, uh, trying to take a positive out the negative, he now has the scope for a bit of movement around the map with that worm. What will he do here, though? I think he's got to go over here and, and hit with a bazooka shot. I don't think a grenade shot is the right thing to do in this instance. He's got plenty of clearance. He's not going to hit any pixels and cause himself any damage here. So, um, not quite a direct shot either. Leaves Deathwish's worm with 11 health, only 41 on the damage there. But um, you have to say there's going to be a retaliation strike here in the form of Deathwish 808. Which worm is he going to go for though? I think he's going to go for the one that just attacked his worm. He does indeed. 33 damage, lowers him into a pit with an extra 5 on the fall, um, lowers the worm to 26. And once again, we're seeing Deathwish 808 is sitting pretty with at least, with one worm, sorry, on full health. With almost all of a load of craps worms with less than half. A load of crap though has the opportunity here though to reduce this to a 3 on 2 confrontation. Deathwish's worm on the left here with only 11, he just has to thread the eye of the needle once more. He does indeed, the, but the grenade once again rolls a one second timer, I think would have been the right decision there for a load of crap. And Deathwish's worm lives to fight another day. you got to assume here that Deathwish is going to attack uh, a load of crap's central worm here. Only real shot available to him. He gets it up and because a load of crap has opened up that area, that's a pretty easy shot and a pretty big target for Deathwish to aim at. 12 damage from the grenade. Rolled away from a load of crap towards the end of the shot. But um, all Deathwish really needs to do is keep chipping away. We know that there is no escape on that left-hand side for that worm for a load of crap. So he's got nowhere to go other than right and down. But the more, the, the further down the, the uh, scenery goes, the more chance that it's going to turn into a pool of water, which opens up even more of a threat. A load of crap, though, still adamant or still determined that he can make it up this left-hand side. He gives it another go and then decides to give up. Are we going to see a shot to the worm directly above him here? Which I thought he would have gone to quite a few shots ago, but um, he chose not to. The other option would be a grenade toss to the worm on the right. It's the bazooka. Rainbows up. What a shot. That is almost perfect. 43 out of a 45 possible damage on that worm. That was an absolutely beautiful lofted shot from a load of crap. And um, puts Deathwish's, two of Deathwish worms now, Deathwish's worms, sorry, now in contention of one hit kills. Not really sure what Deathwish can do here though. I would have thought potentially trying to, if he's got the angle and the ability to put a grenade just in between that gap between that mine and that barrel just down there with that 47 worm he's actually taken out some geometry to potentially make that shot easier in the future but yeah if you can drop a grenade in there just down in that hole nicely it'll roll down and um take a sizable chunk of damage out of a load of craps 47 worm there who's teetering on the edge he's he's all right at the moment and was that a rocket jump from a load of crap that is going to be catastrophic that is going to take is that going to take both worms no, he gets away with it. I thought for a moment there that um, that was that was going to be the end of both the ones. I just want to take another look at that one really quickly. It was hard to see in real time, but watch what happens here. As he pulls out the grain, he accidentally presses the fire button. There we go. There's the explosion. And uh, that worm is toast, causing a big chunk of damage to his other worm as well. And that puts him in a very, very precarious situation. You have to think now, Deathwish has an absolutely massive advantage in this match. 
if he can get a grenade remotely anywhere near this 14 worm of a load of craps here on the left hand side of the map it is going to be down to a three on one situation um a load of crap there surely going to be absolutely kicking himself that he accidentally pressed the fire button easily done i've done it myself many occasions before but let's see what Deathwish does here anything remotely close is going to end that worm's life the shot is up in the air it's five seconds it bounces back at Deathwish though and a load of crap manages to escape the torment just briefly um but you've got to say these pits that both a load of crap's worms are in are just getting deeper and deeper with no easy signs of escape and just when a load of crap needed a win a good win at that it looks like it is slowly slowly slipping away from him his grasp right here looks like he's trying to ascend that right wall he's giving it a go he does manage to get a little bit of height so can he thread the eye of the needle can he get a grenade through there and can he take out this worm of death wish he's got to be careful though there is a big pit to that right hand side of death wish's worm and if the grenade goes in there then unfortunately it is wasted let's see what he can do over halfway through the turn we've got over, just a little over five minutes left on the game timer that is disastrous that worm is dead we are three on one in favor of death wish 808 and you have got to say a load of crap here is in big big trouble if he wants any hope at winning this february series Deathwish808 could wrap it up here with a single shot. Um, is he going to show any sort of leniency? He's got to be careful. There is a little pixel there I can see in between the brolly and what used to be the golf ball cluster. Got to be careful. It's up in the air though. Manages to miss them both. And he hits almost directly, bringing that worm down to three health. And this is not looking good for a load of crap death wish here could take a big big win here he could take a five points from this match and um wow i honestly at the beginning of, the, of this evening's match all six of these matches a load of crap was looking so strong uh, i really thought he was going to eat into death wish's advantage by a big margin but um how the times have turned a load of crap here and he catches the pixels. The only, the only saving grace here is that although Deathwish has three worms, a load of crap has two more attempts at Deathwish's worm on the right before he gets another shot at that worm. So he has he, he, he has a big opportunity to bring it down to a two-on-one, which would be a four-point deficit to Deathwish in the league standings if it finished like that. There is still a long way to go in this map, though. Over four minutes left on the clock. We have sudden death. Can a load of crap draw this out to a sudden death situation? Looks like, though, Deathwish is going to start tunneling away at this area at the top. He does indeed. He has opened up a way now down for his other worms to shoot grenade, uh, place grenades, sorry, down in that hole of a load of craps to try and take that final three hit points of damage away from him. Let's see if a load of crap learned anything from that previous shot. He just needs not to catch them top pixels so that he gets the, the full arc of this grenade. It's up. It's a big shot. That was actually a bazooka shot, and I'm really surprised we haven't seen that before. I've said that a couple of times during this map. Why hasn't we why haven't we seen that shot before? In a positive for um, a load of crap there, it's taken away the top pixels, and it now has two worms to aim at. And a negative though, Deathwish has two worms with clear shots to aim at at that worm of a load of crap so it's it's a catch 22 for a load of crap death wish though with the worm on the left here trying to tunnel away at the area towards the left and make a way through um to a load of crap although only on 11 health you've got to admit that worm is pretty safe and sitting pretty on that left hand side of the map a load of crap though here he really needs to attack um well I don't think it matters which worm he goes for here because whichever worm he can take out, if he can take one out, it's going to be the, the other worm's turn next. I think if he could go for this worm and potentially, I was just about to say, if he could go for the worm in the middle of the three, try and take out that platform and drop him onto that mine, that could have seen the end of a worm. Unfortunately, the shot did not pay off. Deathwish 808 now, can he tie the match up? It's up, it's short though. He damages himself by three hit points. So now... 
The smart play for a load of crap is going to be to take another shot at this 73 worm. If he can drop it down, land it on the mine, it's going to, it's going to kill the worm. Bring it down to a two-on-one with Death Wish's worm on the left-hand side next to play with a potential for a load of crap to bring it down to a one-on-one -on -one situation. Let's see what he can do here, though. Did he learn from his previous shot? The wind is slightly different than before. No, the wind is too strong in that situation. He has completely opened up the gap. And you have got to think that this is going to be sayonara for a load of crap. Deathwish 808 surely cannot miss this. Switches out to the bazooka. Doesn't even think about the shot. Anything remotely clear is going to um, get rid of that worm. He is dead. And Deathwish 808 takes the fourth match of the night. The second by a total of three worms surviving. What an evening of worms. Six matches of epic proportions. What it does mean, though, unfortunately, is that Deathwish808 is our series champion. He takes a 21-point lead over a load of crap with three games to play where there's only 18 points available. A real upset, really, going into today's series. A load of crap after the first two games was on a three-win streak with a six-worm bonus from those three matches alone but Deathwish with the four unbeaten streak in the second half of these matches sees him crowned the series champion for February 2020 he took an eight worm bonus in total over tonight's six matches which basically eradicated any advantage a load of crap had previously built up Thank you very much for watching then guys. As I've said, there is three more matches to come from this February series, which will be released really, really soon. As always, we appreciate your support. And if you want to get involved, please drop us a comment down below or get in touch with one of us on the usual channels. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. Good night.